we are just about to go into the gates of the Glendale Forest Lawn Cemetery and the second largest cemetery in the world. Well, there's a cemetery in Baghdad that is uh, actually just a little bit bigger than the Rose Hill Cemetery. And it's the number one cemetery in the world. One of the things I love about coming to this cemetery is all of the artwork that is present just all over the place. As you'll see on the right there, there's a statue that we're just passing. And all of it is recreated artworks from the masters. So you'll, you'll see things that, um, that uh, Michelangelo, for example, made. In fact, up until recently, there was a statue of David, a complete statue of David, marble and all. Right on the left is the great mausoleum it's basically like a, a big castle for the dead, essentially. And the inside is remarkable. I think right between these two is where Fred Wynn from uh, Alice in Wonderland and many, 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 many. probably thousands of celebrities buried here <laughs> and that's no joke I'm here to visit the grave of Mickey Daniels. He was literally the first leader of the gang. Let's um, let's say hello to Mickey Daniels. Okay, that last little bit of video that you just saw of me um, was when I first came here to look for Mickey Daniels' grave. I was trying to find it for about two hours using find a grave. It wasn't gonna happen. So I decided to, to do what I normally do, which is use landmarks to try to find it. What I did was I went on Google and looked for photos of Mickey Daniel's grave and I came up with this one that had an arrow pointing towards an unmarked grave. Um, so I was like, oh wow, maybe Mickey Daniel's grave is unmarked. I went on and uh, did a whole thing about Mickey Daniel's which I'm going to redo, and just everything about him. It, it turned out it was the wrong place. His grave was not where I thought it was. Most of the markers here in this lawn, which is called the, uh, the Vale of Memory, it spans all this area here. It's a huge lawn. It's really big. It, uh, standing here, I'm realizing how big this place is. It's ridiculously big. So these two trees, and I'm going to put the, the, the picture up as well so you can see where I'm talking about. The picture is like a Google photo and it says Mickey Daniels and it has him basically right here. So what you want to do is you want to look for this tree right here, right? And then you just sort of walk over here. right next to the curb. One of my favorite people in the whole world, Mickey Daniels. Richard Michael Daniels Jr. 
which is surprising. I didn't know that Mickey was a nickname or that it was even his middle name. I thought his name was Mickey. You know, for a long time, I thought that he uh, was shot in an alley in Las Vegas. And it turns out that was a, another member of the Little Rascals. I'll show you a picture of that guy here. Ernie Morrison was quoted as saying that he was one of the funniest people he had ever met. Coming from Ernie Morrison, I mean, that's a huge compliment. Good Lord. And you know, Mickey actually did some our gang uh, stuff later on in life as well. He was an actor when he was in his early 20s. And he and um, uh, the girl who played his sweetheart on the show whose name was Mary Cornman and did sort of a, a, a bit where they were, he was playing a truant officer and she was their teacher. Mickey Daniels, I love this guy so much. And I, I encourage you to watch uh, all the Our Gang stuff that he's in. It's all online. I love you, Mickey. When finding Joe Cobb, what you need to do is look for this sign here that's um, on the main road for, from the main entrance. And um, we go up this little path up to the Wee Kirk Church. But we're not gonna go that way. We're gonna go, that's another fork in the road there. We're gonna make a, a left. Another example of one of the really cool mausoleums I've ever seen. Wow. This is a, again, this is a personal family mausoleum for someone. You just, you look at that. I mean, geez. And this thing probably cost, I don't even know how much. <laughs> if, they, if you were to build it today, a million easily. Easily, probably more. I'm probably being too conservative by saying that. So this hillside here, is where Joe Cobb is. So this is the Wee Kirk Churchyard. And you can find where Joe is by looking for this trash can here you see this tree very large tree and basically you just I follow was that unaware right of down him until this very steep hill i want to say very careful. three years ago and some our gang right reruns that were on tv and uh, i'm looking at one of the kids in there and thinking well that's like a it's like a really fat version of Spanky. And I didn't realize that there was a whole other cast before Spanky, before Alfalfa, before Buckwheat, before Darla, Froggy, all the ones that we love, you know, that I, I certainly saw growing up. I was more familiar with them. But this gentleman was a part of the original cast and they were making silent films of the Our Gang series in 1922. So this is 2021. This is nearly the 100th anniversary of Our Gang. If you look at his, his uh, marker there, it says he was born in 1916. He was about six years old when he started doing uh, Our Gang. And the second I saw him, I was so fascinated by him that I instantly became a fan. And you know, if, if you don't know much about him, or if you're unfamiliar with those Our Gang shorts, I, uh, I suggest going and checking them out. 